Colonel Brian Foley and Garrison Command Sergeant Major Thomas Ladder signed Fort Meade's Sexual Awareness Month proclamation just before this morning's community run. Hello, I'm Brian Spann and welcome to Meade Week. We'll have more on Sexual Assault Awareness Month, including a closer look at the Got Your Back program, plus a message from the sector. Also this week, Fort Meade kids play a big role in Orioles opening day. These stories and more, but first, hundreds of community members met on McLaughlin Parade Field this morning for a run in support of Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Look at that soldier in the room, boy, Ray! Look at that soldier in the room, boy, Ray! Airborne all the way! Airborne all the way! The run is among the first of many events, briefings, and training opportunities available to the community during Sexual Assault Awareness Month. This week, the Got Your Back intervention training got underway. The garrison is hosting a series of presentations through mid-April. Got Your Back is basically getting together to talk about ways to prevent sexual assault and stop sexual harassment. In a moment, some video from the program contractor, but first we spoke with two of the program presenters this week at McGill Training Center. I do believe they're going to be getting new information with this program that hasn't been part of their training in the past about pieces and parts of our cultures that support a rape culture that we can also address in, uh, in a simpler, smaller fashion than maybe the actual larger issue of rape itself. It's a great opportunity for dialogue because I do know that a lot of times um, it is that, that you know we're just going to read off PowerPoint slides and this program is not that. Um, it is a genuine dialogue. We have some fun, believe it or not, <laughs> and we really are having great conversations where there's a lot of great input coming from them as well as from us. The words that you have heard for women who have sex. Men who have sex. Play a stud, dude. We kind of got like a positive, negative vibe going on. A lot of times, if people see something that looks creepy, they just look around going, someone else will do something, right? It is an interactive program which talks the talk of your audience. While problems can easily hide within our current culture, your audience will be able to tell the difference between people having fun and a dangerous situation. Everyone will walk away empowered with tools to make a positive change in your community. Also this week, the Secretary of Defense released a message concerning sexual assault and sexual harassment. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. But stopping sexual assault is something we must focus on every day. Sexual assault is one of the worst crimes a person can commit. It destroys the bonds of trust and confidence that lie at the very heart of our military. We must keep doing whatever it takes to eradicate it. As members of the profession of arms, we must all be deeply invested in making sure every member of the total force feels safe and can focus on the mission. Everyone who serves has an important role in eliminating sexual assault. Whether on duty or off duty, with friends, in the barracks, or at home, you can make a difference. Intervene when you see others acting inappropriately. Reinforce a unit culture based on professionalism, mutual respect, and trust. Intervening takes courage. If you want to wear the uniform, understanding our core values isn't enough. You have to live and enforce those values every day. We must stay committed to keeping our honor clean. We must strengthen our bonds of trust with each other and with the American people. So step up and help stop sexual assault. Thank you. This morning's run coincides with MWR's announcement this week of the 2014 run series. The community fun runs are usually a 5K or both a 5 and 10K. Additionally, each event features a one mile walk. It all kicks off later this month during the Earth Day festivities. The run series continues throughout the year, concluding with the reindeer run 5K in December. The runs are open to the public. You can pre-register and get a discount on registration fees. Plus, only those that pre-register will receive a run t-shirt at each event. For more information, call 301-677-7916, or you can go to www.ftmeetmwr.com. We close this week's edition with some more scenes from Monday's opening day with the Baltimore Orioles at Camden Yards. 80 Fort Meade kids were invited to participate in pregame ceremonies. And opening day 2014 was extra special as the Orioles celebrated their 60th anniversary of playing baseball in Baltimore. The children lined the orange carpet as the Orioles were introduced to a near sellout crowd. For more on opening day, you can pick up a copy of this week's sound off. Meanwhile, just like last season, the Orioles, along with their regularly scheduled military appreciation days, will be providing hundreds of complimentary tickets throughout the season. The tickets are for Sunday home games, and usually the procedure is to announce ticket availability on a Thursday for active duty and their families, and then opening it up to all other DOD ID card holders on Friday. Until then, I'm Brian Spann, and that's Mead Week for this week. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. Sister.